Good day everybody and welcome back to another Starfield episode. Today we're going to go over seven tips and tricks that I wish I'd kind of known sooner about this game. I've invested nearly 200 odd hours into this at the moment and uh, from the early game you can get quite a few different credits by doing a different number of methods. So one of the first methods is going and selling off your planet data. Now if you're usually um, you will want to sell them or go to the eye um, which is where Vladimir stays my current situation is that Vladimir is down here in the lodge so once you surveyed your planets to an extent you survey all of them and you get that surveyed message come and speak to Vlad tell him you've got some survey data and then he will basically buy that survey data from you as you can tell that here i've got four lots so um that's 13.50 so my credit's 100 well, 1.4 million at the moment so i can sell ananki survey data rivera toliman and venus okay now that's a good way of earning credits because it basically means that for not a lot of work well i say not a lot of work some planets are really hard to 100 percent but you have over a thousand planets out there so you can go and scan them get all the survey data for them and come and earn a pretty penny from vlad tip number two okay now when you look at your skills right there is a certain skill tree that you're going to want to do first of all now boost pack training definitely definitely put early skill points into this because you're going to be using this to travel literally everywhere at the moment until bethesda puts in some um, other methods of travel other than fast travel your boost pack is your friend okay so definitely do that and also further down the tree you've got boost assault training as well so you can't get to these until you unlock uh, level four in there uh, i think it's level two there and two there um and then effectively come into boost assault training now i've leveled this all the way up as well mainly because at rank four whilst hovering and aiming down your weapon you could slow time by 70 percent around you now that's a massive massive um benefit to have right it's definitely one to put all your skill points in and um, to start off with in my opinion third tip again is going to be our skill tree um and we're going to be where are we we're wanting uh nope so yeah you you're gonna want if you're um if you're like me and you hoard everything weightlifting is something you are going to need okay rank four will increase your capacity by 100 kilos um, and you can find additional armor that will allow you to have um, more carry capacity as well for example my guy is currently wearing um, a trackers alliance spacesuit um, and this one uh, is this one here sorry um, this one has pocketed on there, so it allows for um, better uh, carry capacity. Um, I also am wearing a Space Rogue Muscle Gear as well, which gives me a plus five carry capacity as well. So yeah, my carry capacity at the moment is level is 455. Mainly because the Trackers Alliance spacesuit that I'm currently wearing... Um, has additional benefits on it from a mod that i did do um i showcased that from one of the inquisitor mods it gives you an additional 200 percent okay um always beneficial to have that all right tip number four okay weapons now with regards to weapons you've got all different types obviously you've got physical damage so explosive anything like that you've got energy weapons you've got sniper weapons um the one thing that i 
I'm going to head to Neon. Uh, so we're going to head to Neon in the Volo system. Now the reason why we're heading here is because it's a very early game way of getting this weapon. Uh, if you can't find it anywhere else, um, then definitely come to so down here at the back of uh, Neon Core, you've got Ryujin Industries. Now they will have over here different weapons, right? So you've got the Nova Light pistol. You've got Nova Light disruptor there. Um, I'm going to go with that one. Um, so let's go in here, and you can buy one or you can steal them. Now, the reason why I'm saying it is, uh, so if we look at the uh, disruptor here, so if we look at that and purchase that one, right, the reason why you're going to want these, so if you're doing like a pacifist playthrough, for example, um, then you're going to want the disruptor, okay? The reason why is because it's going to allow you to incapacitate your enemies rather than kill them. So if you are doing a playthrough where you're trying to be sort of a stealthy guy and you're not trying to kill anybody, then obviously a weapon that does disrupt damage is going to be much more beneficial. Right, so I'm probably gonna incur a bounty here in a minute if I do this. Um, but let's just see. So, as you can see, I've, I've got, a, got a weapon and I've got myself into a bit of trouble. So, when you are using a disruptor like this, effectively you can stun them rather than kill them. So your bounty is not going to be huge. Now, what I would recommend doing is hold down the trigger. If you hold down the trigger, it charges the shot. Okay. So you can see that these guys are knocked out. Um, hold down the trigger and it allows you to charge the shot. Um, and you basically have a better... Uh, it's the same, it uses the same ammunition. But it allows you to uh, knock them out rather than actually kill them. Now if you're on PC, you're not going to, or using keyboard and mouse rather, you're not going to feel it. If you're using a controller, you do have the rumble of the uh, um, rumble pad to show you or tell you that you are charging the weapon. Okay guys, tip number five. Once you have stolen items in your inventory, you can basically come over and you can effectively clean those stolen items, right? So if you go to this, uh, go to any vendor, come up to them, do some business with them, there are some important parts to remember here, okay? When you go and you sell your um, weapons that you've stolen, they'll have an item next to them, look. So if I sell that Eon, I sell that Mag Shot, I sell that Eon as well, and I'll sell that Grendel and the Pacifier, all right? Do not exit out from the screens. Go back to the vendor buy. Go back into buyback. Um, we'll just do the pacifier for now so you can see. So we'll buy that pacifier back and then we'll come back into our inventory just to check it. And we should be able to see, look, we no longer have a stolen item. So effectively what you've done is you've sold it to him, bought it back, but you've cleaned the item, right? So you can effectively um, steal any item and have it this way and not get caught. All right, guys, so that was tip number five. So tip number six is going to be to do with powers. So I'm going to just go to, let's just say, um, I don't care where it is. I'm just gonna land on a planet 
and I'm going to do something here so when you get your powers you're going to want personal atmosphere now powers are things that you come across by progressing the main storyline okay so I'm first of all going to load myself up put my cargo hold I'm just going to do this here we go so I'm just literally loading myself up with everything so you can see my mass is now 671 out of 435 now the reason why we're doing this is I'm going to run and I'm going to show you what I mean right let's go towards this ship so I'm sprinting at the moment and you can see my O2 on the bottom left is rapidly declining my CO2 is building up even though I'm max level it's still going to be a problem now you can get to this point you won't die because sprinting and being max co2 will not kill you it will drain your health what you want to do is have personal atmosphere activate it and as you can see you then have like an aura around you your o2 has completely replenished your co2 is completely gone this effectively allows for unlimited sprinting right with o2 because you just have that come on and then it drains all your O2 again and you can go through again drain it all down but you can just come in once you have enough um, capability to do it again you can see our CO2 is bad just open it again and boom your O2 is all back to normal again tip number seven guys one of the things that you might have overlooked in this game is your cutter that you're basically given from day one so it's infinite ammo effectively it just needs to recharge okay and if you put a couple of skills into um into lasers it can be one of the best guns of the game you just need to make sure that you have a few points into lasers um, and you could charge it automatically as well so hold down your left trigger does more damage that way um, and you can tell it does take them out pretty quickly but you do have to wait for that armor for that armor to recharge okay so guys this is obviously one of the best weapons it is free um and you don't have to worry too much about it but i would recommend definitely putting in um skills into uh the laser tree so i have lasers four and you can see i mean i was fighting robots so it's not gonna be that great against them but against humans it will be absolutely brilliant as well and against other enemies as well all right guys so guys let me know what you think might be your top seven tips that you would give to new players or just starting out players let me know down in the comments down below guys and i hope you join me in the next one have a good day everybody